So now I'm going to show you how to install a font on your computer. You don't need any type of a font installer or anything like that. It's totally easy. I'm just going to give you an example. So let's say I'm in Microsoft Word and I have this research paper and I'm going to zoom in on this title of my paper right here. And I'll make that a little bit bigger. Come over here and I can bump that up. Wrong way, wrong way. Bigger, 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 bigger. Cool. And I can come over here and I can choose different fonts. So here's the list of fonts I could choose. Like I could go here, you know, black or whatever. But this is a limited list. My computer's a little draggy, right? Like, what if I wanted something that was like typing or, you know, more of a handwritten font or a Halloween font, right? I could come over here to Google Chrome and I could search for Google Fonts. Google Fonts, search for that. You go to Google Fonts. Now you can browse through all these fonts. I'm going to show you how to download them and install them on your computer and then start using them. But I can say, you know what, I, I want to see all the serif fonts. And so I could uncheck everything else. And serif fonts are fonts with feet. You can see that it has a little feet there, right? Feet, feet, those are serif fonts. Or I can say I want sans serif. And sans in French is without, I think. <laughs> I didn't study French. But there are no feet. No feet, it just goes down and it ends. And so sans serif is a more modern look. And uh, the serif is older school newspaper print look. And you might say, I want display fonts. I don't know what display fonts are, but here are some examples of them. And so there's some pretty interesting display fonts. And, uh, or maybe go with handwriting, right? Like handwriting's pretty cool. So let's say I want this, this font right here. And uh, it's sorting by trending. I could do also popular and just give me all of the most popular fonts. And, uh, and so you can see like Robo Robo Roboto. Roboto is super popular. That's a huge one. But that's a nice thing to go with the most popular because then you're getting one that you know people like. So I actually think I'm going to go with, uh, uh, with this one right, right here. Or Indie Flower since it's the most popular might be good. I'll go with Indie Flower. So I'm going to click that plus sign and then that creates this little box down here where I then click on that and I can hit this download arrow. Download. So now it's downloading the fonts to my computer. I'm going to unzip those and then there are those fonts and I could open this up and inside here I'll have some files. All, and Indie Flower is the one I downloaded so I'm just going to double click it. And now it's double clicked and check this out. Install font. This is the same on Windows and on Mac. You'll have some option to install the font. I'm going to install it. This just got installed on my computer. So I now have Indie Flower as a font that I could use. So I'm going to go back to Microsoft Word and, uh, and I'm going to see if I have Indie Flower. So I'm going to scroll down and B, C, D, F, G, H, I, I, M, N, O, uh, n nothing. So I don't see it. So I'm thinking maybe Microsoft Word needs to refresh. I'm going to save my document and fine. I'll call it title of my paper and put it in documents. I'm going to close Microsoft Word and then I'm going to restart Microsoft Word. And I need to open recent. So templates, that's not what I want. And online templates, there we go, title of my paper. And there's the title of my paper, and now I'm going to look for Indie. And I could even just click in here, I think, if this is like other programs, and type in Indie. And there's Indie Flower. How do you like that, you all? How do you like that, y'all? How do you like that, yo? Totally sweet Indie Flower. Nice! I just got a new font on my computer which I could use. So that opens up a world of design possibilities, being able to go to Google Fonts and download and install a font on your computer and then put that font into documents that you're working with. It's really, really cool.